Where are we going, James? So we are basically at LA Airport, um, which is southwest of LA downtown. We're heading out to Universal Studios, which is sort of up through Beverly Hills. Um, gonna try and pop in on Jennifer Lawrence on the way. Hopefully just she'll be there. I think she's up. Just, she's we'll see aware. if we can get him to stop past j -Law's house. She's aware that such war machine celebrities are in town. So. Well, she probably heard about it. Yeah. I mean, I watched her movie. The least she can do is, you know, yeah, put her respect. She probably knows about us. This is apparently coffee. It's a grande. I don't drink coffee, so it all tastes like that to me. But more importantly, <laughs> ah, Mexican, Mexican. We go to get our tickets. I really hope Jennifer's here. Yeah, if Jennifer's here, I'll, I'll probably marry her. We'll probably just go get married. Oh man, I'm swimming shitholes in the way through, Yeah. But, but, like, those were the houses on, on the Rough neighbourhood, eh? Side of, yeah. Side of my screen, right? It's kind of a movie. Let's just find a Red Bull somewhere. I feel the sun, eh? Hey? It's oh, wow, fucking hot. Game stop. GameStop, awesome. It's good to be out in the sun, breathing the fresh air. Yeah. Sausage Kingdom. I'm going to go to Sausage Kingdom. You go to Sausage Kingdom while you're on the toilet. I'll go to Sausage Kingdom here. I feel like I'm uh, already a week closer to my next time. Well, <laughs> Universal Studios, James and Demo. Apparently, this is um, extra television too. They play that on Channel 9 during the day. It's got Mario Lopez and some girl. Moops and I just walking yeah. down <laughs> Universal Studios. We've just, had a, not 12. we've just had a Red Bull and we're feeling a lot better. What is it, lunchtime now? 12 o'clock? It's 11.30. Yeah. 11.30. We were, we were struggling a little bit. We hit the wall a little bit earlier. But we've got out. We're out in the sunshine. These guys, what a legend. Hey, mate. <laughs> he's, having, he's having a great time, that fella. Had some chili cheese fries, said so shared a sausage. Some chili cheese fries, so we'll probably have a heart attack by the end of the day. What is happening up here? I think we definitely just chopped off a week of our life by having Universal a house of horrors. Red Bull's awesome. We're gonna go to Jurassic Park ride. I think we might... No, that scares me, James. I'm scared of that shit. Let's do it. Mate, we'll go No, fuck that mate. Let's go to Jurassic Park. <laughs> Oh, and and there's, there's a new there's a new Transformers. Transformers is an hour. Let's go Jurassic Park. I like this song. I'm afraid to close my eyes. 
This is just fucking the coolest. Oh, where do we go, Hoop? Scooby Doo! So wake me up when it's all over. When I'm wiser and I'm older. I feel old here, right? When I'm 24. Is that fucking Hogwarts? No, it's not. I thought that was Hogwarts for a second. That's just Buckingham Palace. So wake me up when it's all over. Is this merry old London town, is it? So, this looks like a just basically a shop. No, I think it's, uh, it's all set dressing, mate. Maybe it's not. Baker Street Gifts. Strand Hotel. Huh. I was actually in London about eight months ago. Went past that place. We get some free leather engraving. Despicable Me, Minion Mayhem. Where are we in regards to Jurassic Park moves? Um, yeah. that way. Stick with me. And that guy. You want to do just stick with me? Jurassic Park, mate, come on. We can go come on, mate. There. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Super silly fun land. Oh, I know that. That's cool. I love that little. Oh, Dora, the Where? Is Where's Dora? Is no, Dora that's from Despicable Me, mate. I don't know anything, mate. Those kids that they're from Despicable Me. That's a good movie, mate. You got to go see it. Oh my oh, goodness. Look, look at the view, Where are we going here? Is this the way to Jurassic Park? Yes. Moulin Rouge. Oh yeah, let's go to the view. That looks good. Oh, right, there's, it's like a big escalator that goes down there to the next part of the Yep. The but I can't have any fun, so wake me up when it's all over. When I'm wiser and I'm older. Oh, wow. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Oh, there's a golf course right there, look at that. Okay, so that tube down there goes down to the... Lower part of Helicopters up there, I don't know what's going on there. Man. That golf course looks fucking beautiful, majestic. Yeah. Alright, let's go. We're Jurassic Park. This is a motion simulator involving sudden and extreme movement. Expected mothers and individuals with heart, back, or neck conditions, abnormal blood pressure, or those prone to motion sickness or dizziness are advised not to ride this attraction. For your safety, please remain seated, hold on to the lap restraint, and keep your hands and feet inside the vehicle at all times. Please supervise children to ensure everyone has their own seat. Children may not sit on laps. Secure all loose items. Finally, the use of still or video cameras is not permitted. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what to say. That was awesome. The names are cool guys. Oh, I'm going to ride that one. Saggy bottom books. King Kong 3D experience down there. King Kong? Yeah. We'll go on that. It's a good about Tom Hanks is short. Yeah. Oh. Transformers. Man of Constant Sorrow was originally recorded in 1913 by Dick Burnett, a partially blind fiddle player from Kentucky. It became a top 40 hit 89 years later. Now on the Starway, please hold the handrail at all times and attend children carefully. Is in Jurassic Park taking a photo. Da, 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 da. Oh, 
Love Jurassic Park. Yeah, no. Do you want a poncho? <laughs> Welcome to Jurassic Park, folks. Thanks, man. Welcome to Jurassic Park. This way, we're not a single lighter. the last bit because it'll get saturated. It's alright. Isn't Jurassic World? No, Jurassic Park. Thanks mate! Hey Moops. Welcome to Jurassic Park. that he's pressing his legs up against the seat so hard that he nearly died. <laughs> oh man, classic stuff. We're going the mummy ride now. We're bringing up the average age by about five. Yeah, that's right. And loving it. The mummy. Still no Jennifer Lawrence. J-Law has been conspicuously absent. When she does arrive though, expect marriage proposals. This is a little bit fucking scary already. Are we going on Transformers soon or what? Door, door, door. Transformers, Shrek, Simpsons, The Mummy. There's what, The Mummy, there's one more, surely. This, this is not. Get the map out, mate. It's a great television idea. Right We've been on the Minions. <laughs> the Minions. I reckon, I reckon there could be a possibility of us having another Jurassic Park ride at the end of the, at the, end of the day, just a refresh. Just a refresher. Just a little bit of fresh up. Studio tour. Oh, King yeah, King Kong, yeah. Definitely gonna do that. Yeah. Shrek 40. That's the book. Oh, well, ladies and gentlemen, do you remember What the fuck is happening?
You'll, you'll be immortalised on film forever. Thank you. Fellow Australians. That was not good. I feel like I'm going to be sick. I'm actually going to do that way. The backwards. The backwards was the thing that got me. No, backwards is not awesome. Just like, boom. Yeah, thank you for clapping. Thank you, everyone. You're welcome. You're welcome. What car? Oh, something's That's not me. What ride are we on? Battle glasses.
can check that on my phone and find out what time it is. We're about the 24 hour mark of being awake. Apparently it's 7.03 in Brisbane. Uh, it's 2.04pm. 2.04pm in... Uh, so we've got four hours of ride left. Before we head back, and I guarantee you we will be in bed at about 7 o'clock. That's okay because we need to get our sleeping patterns right. We're only get we're only get two days of, of getting our sleeping patterns right, so we have to make it count for that. It's been fun. It's been so much fun. Trent is the oldest oldest kid with the biggest kid for sure. And Simon has been on every ride, every single one he's, with us. He's fearless. He got drenched on Jurassic Park, the poor little fella. It was absolutely saturated. James and I are just drying off now. Simon dried off. He's a possum, he just shook off. I'm on the shirt teeth. He, he covered his eyes the whole mummy ride because he doesn't like going backwards. And in Transformers, he made he was a superstar. He jumped on Megatron's face and clawed his eyes out. So fucking Simon, you're a legend, mate. I love you. And he's picking up. Yeah, he's a good kid. Done here. We, uh, we've got a few more rides to go, we'll get a bit more, and then we might sign off for our day at Universal Studio. Oh, we can upload videos really fast here. We found out that we can upload videos in about 30 minutes, so As we're going to try and upload this video tonight when, when we sleep. So, I could not believe it. You would have seen there's one up there now, which is awesome, but anyway. Thank you. Just a few minutes. If you want to see the DeLorean, it's downstairs in the NBC Universal Experience or a museum down by Transformers. Some of the world's first totally green cars, the Flintstones. They burn about 5,000 calories a mile. And then, of course, the Fast and the Furious. First feature all the way to Fast and the Furious 6. Fast and the Furious 6 had the best box office opening of any universal feature. I can't wait to take my turn to drive that flip car out on the flying freeway. If you like the tank from Transformers, it's mostly press board. It's all screwed together, it's a nice pink job in the art department. He glued the bolt heads on top of the screw heads so you couldn't see them. Now, when making movies like The Fast and the Furious, we're not always using those hard support vehicles because of the noise from the engines. So sometimes the car needs to go behind them. Have your cameras ready because we're going to head in for a sea level look at the venture approaching Skull Island. And don't worry, the blue seats can't double as a flotation device. Camera coming up on your left. The venture approaching Skull Island. But for your own health and safety, please do not touch the water. Some of you may recognize that water as the Red Sea from History of the World Part 1 with no boats to battle with God. The satellite dishes on either side of us are here still on NBC, the national broadcasting company. We brought these in so we can back them anything that could be lost on the East Coast where you know big snowstorms are getting down. That's why they just double it up here. We're at the beginning of a 25-year, $1.6 billion property investment. You can see the Just have your cameras ready. Our diver can get this. 
get some great photos. Some of you may not want to watch this. Oh. Okay, sharks do get quite voracious once there's blood in the water. Uh, we do have a large amount of beta tax that yellow boy in the center. Now that he's got the taste of blood, he should go for that long before he comes here on a tramp. Just play it safe, though. Rocky's going to pull us up behind the pier. Now, the show was also Cabot Cove made for 10 years on Murder Shoe of Daniel Lansbury. Oh, he's taking our bait. Oh, and the pier. Okay, spraying gasoline. That is not a good sign. Okay, don't panic. There's plenty of water to put us in the fire. There's no real threat. Did anyone bring any marshmallows? No? Hi, bud. <laughs> Say hello to Bruce. Nice shot. Your great shots from both sides. I'm going to start on the left. That second house belonged to Gabrielle, played by Ava Longoria. That's where Tom Hanks lived in Lady Killers, Jimmy Stewart in the Harvey. Next door, 1313 Mockingbird Lane from the Munsters. Fred Wayne, Yvonne Carlo, back in the 60s. 4353 belonged to Susan, played by Terry Hatcher. That's where Christina Ritchie lived in Casper, Bruce Dern, and the Burbs. And you can see it looks a lot different than it did on Desperate Housewives because they were blowing the lawn every week. Their flowers, all the wisteria, silk. Wasn't even real. Yeah, Gabrielle's gardener, not that great. Those were silk flowers and they were stapled to the rose bush. I could do that. Felicity Huffman's home here on the left. She played Lynette. That's where James Garner and Doris Day lived in the thrill of it all. That's where Ronald Reagan lived in that time for Bonzo. Now, he, played by Nicolette Sheridan here in our monitors, ABC built this fully practical set of the edge of the street for her. They paid for it, they built it, they left. He got to keep it. We immediately rented the CSI in one of their episodes, and then used it for a season of Growing a Fisher with Jenna Elfman. The beautiful park on your left, they staged a blood drive there, a plane crash on the Mystery Lane. That was a graveyard in Sunnydale, and welcome to the Vampire Slayer with Sarah Michelle Geller. That's where Al and Sam switched places are in here, where money can find the police and stop back. That was for you, Tony. Uh, ladies, keep in mind, you've been sitting on the right. Just remember the deal, Norman. Only one. Yeah, don't worry, ladies. I know he looks like a psycho, but he's just a mama's boy. Now keep your eyes on Norman, though. He has been known to run up the stairs here on the right, try and take a stab at some of our guests. Just have your cameras out. He hates the paparazzi. Not by Norman. Once again, as Academy Award winning director Steven Spielberg, along with Academy Award winning production designer so, Mr. Rick Carter. All of this for less than five minutes of on screen footage. The airplane will crash inside the set. It's a perfect example of a set that is all designed around the vision of Steven and uh, someone has left a bottle of water on the set. Something you don't see. You're doing good. As we head out, when we make the right, look to your left. You'll see a log cabin. That was in the great outdoors with John Candy, Shooter with Mark Wahlberg, Deja Vu with Denzel Washington, and spent many years on Coach with Craig G. Nelson. The big blue backdrop coming up on the left. I'm going to bring that up like a Moops and I just finished the, uh, the studio tour, it was fucking awesome. King Kong bit was kick ass. So they have, a, they have a tram, but it's like four mini buses attached, and by mini buses I mean buses of like a hundred. Four buses attached to each other and you go on rides and shit and look around awesome. all the old Hollywood sets, it's awesome. We've got about three hours left to go. I'm, 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 still, in, I'm still feeling good. Carrying through. Three hours to go and then we're sleeping, how good is it? <laughs> and the bath was here. We're going to Shrek now. How do we get the Shrek horse? 
Moops and I are off to our final ride for the day at Universal Studios. We've decided to go another Jurassic Park extravaganza. It's fucking great. You get absolutely saturated. We feel that might be a good way to keep us awake. I'll sit up the end of the park. Of course, doesn't want to sit at the front. We sat directly in front and got absolutely belted. But honestly, I don't think you'll get any drier anywhere else, mate. So. Some interesting pants over here. I thought I was going to explain my leg again. Oh, Cracking jokes, pants there. Oh my god. Well, 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 well. I don't even think they classify as pants, would they? I think, it meant to, no, I think it's like legally required that you wear like clothes. All I look at when I go out here is the golf course. Look at that. How magic does that look? would not mind having a hit out there. So the, um, the, the studios, to go all the way up there. Yeah, we should. The tour goes all the way up. For all those, too. It's really good, actually. Oh, man. Man. Yeah, we're hitting the wall a bit. We're just, this, is, this, this Jurassic Park ride will be a good way to finish it off. Shrek was disappointing. Shrek was terrible, but it's been the worst but ride of all of them. I didn't think Shrek could be classified as a ride. We just sat down in a cinema and watched. We are told we were going to get tortured. Watched Shrek 0.1, the fail episode. Yeah. And had water spat at us. That was the shooting part of it. If you've never been to Universal Studios, you've actually got to walk down like five escalators to get to the bottom of Universal Studios. There's two levels. It's quite interesting. This is the view of, uh, I guess you would probably call it California, wouldn't you? Los Angeles? Yeah, Hollywood? <laughs> not, not too great. Not Zeno, covered. Love your work, Jurassic Park. So good, you can't really see it, it's back there. So good, such a good ride. I wanted to film that last bit. It's Man, so cool. if, we, if, if I had a poncho that I could have put the camera on, I would have done that. It is ballistic. Oh my god, I'm drenched. <laughs> That's the last ride, Borsi, we're going home. Good day. 30 hours on the truck. Good day. On the gallop, good day. Solid day. Solid day. Fatigue, not a factor. It's cultural experience. I don't want to